Alright y'all, welcome back to, I believe this is going to be day two of Vlogmas. And if you didn't miss, or if you didn't catch last week's, so we're going to try to do a Vlogmas video every Wednesday and Sunday through the month of December. But it's, Thursday. Huh? Our normal Thursday. I'm sorry, yeah, Wednesday. Thursday. My bad, I said Wednesday. Huh? Yes. But uh, every Thursday and Sunday uh, through the month of December. And today is our annual tree decorating video and if you watched last year you know what that's about but if you haven't so this is a day that we fully decorate the house for the most part on the inside um, the tree um, and other parts of the house and then in addition to that there's um, cookie decorating yeah. there's hot cocoa there we go um we sometimes i don't know if we're gonna do it this year but sometimes we do like a craft with the kids but this is just like we've been doing this for the last nine years uh ever since austin was born um, the first year he was born, we did it with Aiden and Ashton, and this is just something where we just allow them to help decorate. Uh, we put on pajamas, we watch movies, get popcorn, and a whole night. And so it started off as something small, and then we just kind of grew it as a family tradition. So this will be our ninth year doing it. Yeah, I don't even remember our nine years. That's because I'm getting old. But um, but yeah, so we're about to get into it. And I know if you haven't clicked the one, you're still watching. I know you probably have some thoughts about these pajamas <laughs> so so here's the backstory we call ourselves preparing early we ordered these pajamas early november mm -hmm. because as we know to get content out to you guys we can't wait for the stores to bring out the pajamas we're trying to go early so we found a couple actually they found me through target ads i think on instagram mm -hmm. um i think it was called like we're matching or something like that you can order the pajamas i'm like cool so i brought it home showed missy we found other actually a couple other <laughs> sites so we were like okay let's order and they were like okay we get it here mid to early, late november we can start to record the content and, you know prepare for vlogmas so i'm gonna try to find the picture of what these were supposed to look I like have it in my you phone. have it yeah so when we got them everybody immediately had like the where's waldo or the escape prisoner vibes but you'll see like the pictures don't match the out the the pajamas don't match the pictures at all and i knew something was up when they said it was gonna take up to two weeks to deliver so I don't even care about that part. Like I'm sure, like for something like that, I knew it was gonna come nah, from overseas. I knew, it was gonna be some stuff. I knew it wasn't, you know, locally, you know, here in the U.S. But anyway, so we got on our Where's Waldo Christmas pajamas, um, <laughs> tops and bottom. It is what it is. We're gonna make the best of it. Um, this is our fourth year matching pajamas, though. Yeah, normally we get the expensive ones from what Target. It's expensive. It is expensive. But yeah, normally we, we get them from use Target. The ones we used last year. Well, we no, could we have. We thought about it, but everyone has outgrown their pajamas from last year. Right. So, you were eight. Six. You're, in a, you're in a twelve now. Not five. Wait, no, Austin's awesome are a six. Eight. He's in an eight now. Yeah, so and six. don't even get me started with long legs, Aiden over there. I'm not six. We know you're not. So yeah, so they're gonna work for tonight. The one thing I will say is they're thinner, and our flannel pajamas last year were warm, like they were hot, um, and it's still warm here in Texas, or at least normally, not this week. So they are thin, but it's gonna ooh, get the job done. Also dirty for these pajamas, but yeah, they're they cute. They're still cute. There's more. It's more orangey red than like candy apple. And they're not or as deep fit red. as they're supposed to be. They're supposed so, to be more fitted. Yeah. So I mean, mine fit, you know, because I got the guns and everything else. But Wait, what? You got the guns? Not those guns. Right. Anyway, let's these get started. These twenty-two inch pythons, but uh, in addition to making the hot chocolate, I forgot the milk, so we're gonna have to cut out of here and somebody, me, Missy. Body. Huh? Your body. My body. So somebody's going to have to cut out of here and go get some hot chocolate. I mean, the milk for the hot chocolate. So. Yeah, because we had two two gallons of milk, and y'all drank it all up in a matter of a week. Who's y'all? Who's y'all? I'm going to show you y'all. Let's okay. see. Let's count. The main y'all not even I'm here. Not, That's awesome. I'm not 16. Yeah. 16. So, give, you know, hopefully we have the patience, because you know how kids get when they get excited and when they get full of sugar. Uh -huh. If you're a parent, you understand. So, we're about to make it a good time. We got the, the stereo speaker, so we're about to go ahead and start the Christmas music, which you can't play on here. So, it's probably going to be some B roll, but let's get started. A few moments later. Okay, so Akeem ran to. Where did Akeem go? Akeem ran to Target to get the milk, and I'm probably going to text him to get a couple other things because that's what I've been doing every time he go to Target. I just send like a text, like, hey, can you grab some more stuff? And usually he does it. If I go grab it, he tells me no. So, as you guys see, we went ahead and got the nine foot tree. The plan next year is to get the 12 foot tree. We talked about it in our previous vlog, but 
we just could not let go of this tree for the sole purpose of it twinkles. I don't know if y'all can see that on camera. Let me see if I can back up. Can you see it? Is it twinkling? Is this tree twinkling? But is it twinkling on camera? Okay, so I, I can see it. So this tree twinkles, and then Austin, can you hit the, uh, can you step on the puddle? Wait, I just now noticed that twinkle. And then it's steady. And then it goes off. So hit it one more time. So we really, really enjoy the fact that it twinkles. The unfortunate part about it is we cannot find a 12 foot tree that does this. So it'll most likely go into the uh, dining room next year but we cannot part with this tree. So we did go with the nine foot tree. We are getting ready to decorate it. I am gonna hand the kids last night. I actually, so previous years we would hand the kids the bulbs and they would go decorate the tree. And we were having to hook the bulbs as we were decorating the tree. So last night I went and I took all of these hooks, excuse my nails, Zuri painted them. They're cute though. Zuri painted my nails today. I went and took all of the hooks and I made them into circles so they can put them on the tree. So I did all the pre-hooking last night. My fingers were on fire because it's these little cheap inexpensive hooks that we picked up from Walmart for 98 cents. Um, but they were uh, flexible, so I appreciated that. Zuri wants to talk to y'all. She is the cheap queen. I, no, I am not. So anyway. Uh, How else are you? I like to do things, <laughs> forget Zuri, anyway, because we've already had this conversation. If I can get a deal on it, I'm going to get a deal on it, but that doesn't mean I'm cheap. But that's neither here nor there. So I'm going to have the, I'm going to hand the stuff to the kids and have them decorate the tree. Y'all know, after the kids decorate the tree, then I go in there the next day or when they go to school and I just go rearrange it. Stop, Austin. And I just fix everything. Um, so let's just go ahead and get that started. I'm going to put on music on the, um... I'm going to go ahead and put on music on the Bluetooth. I get all I want for Christmas. because they are the sugar cookies that we normally roll out and use a cookie cutter for um last year we did like the pre-baked ones like they were already baked and just ready to decorate but i wanted to make these because i'm hoping hoping these are a little bit more softer than the ones that we've done in the past uh i got plain and, and peanut m and for either consumption or decorating we picked up these decorating kits from i think walmart um, I'm using the same hot cocoa cups that I picked up from Hobby Lobby last year. Uh, these four are for the kids. These two are for myself and Akeem. Picked up popcorn from Walmart. This is from Target. And then Akeem is going to make hot cocoa using these Lindor. Oh. Aiden has the camera. And then I also picked up these. Um, that blanket nighttime? I yeah, can tell. I also picked Dad. up these. 
And they then we're going to use the popcorn buckets that we picked up from World Market. I just showed y'all I picked up some new ones. And then, uh, sorry, Zuri. It's okay. And then we're probably going to do a couple of these. So that's what we're doing now. We're getting ready to load the uh, cookies into the oven and then finish decorating in the meantime. so we could just have our toppings for our hot cocoa. Akeem just finished making, what'd you move it for? Oh, whipped cream. He just finished making a whipped cream for the hot cocoa, which he ended up making with Lindor chocolate. I think he said a recipe that he got off of TikTok. So the kids just finished with their cookie decorating. Can you put them at mine? Yes, sir. Everything looks good. So now we're getting ready to get our hot cocoa, load up our popcorn. Akeem ordered food for me, him and Aiden. The other ones had uh, pizza and hot dogs. And then we're gonna sit down and watch a movie and call it a night. Oh. 